is speaking in tongues still a biblical practice? No, it isn't. Um, it was for a period of time a sign gift in the New Testament. Um, I've spoken a lot on that through the years, written a lot on that. There's a lot of good material on that. But um, there, there was a time, particularly when, according to what Isaiah said, and Paul repeats it in 1 Corinthians, this was a sign to Israel that there was a time when God spoke to them in a language they could understand, and they would not receive that. And they obviously they killed the Messiah, and God was going to speak in a language they couldn't understand. It really was a, a judgment. So uh, it was part of the sign gifts associated with the apostolic era that has since passed away. Why do you think it is that this phenomenon is so present, uh, present in the church today? Well, it, it got a resurrection back in the early 1900s in the Azusa Street meeting. It came out of the early annals of Pentecostalism. But it's not isolated to forms of Christianity. It appears in other other religions. There are other non-Christian religions that have this kind of... Um, sort of hyper-spiritual talk and communication. Uh, I honestly believe that it's part of a whole network of sought experiences from people who think the Word of God is not enough. I don't think it's faith that causes people to seek this. I think it's doubt looking for proof.